Yoshi, it's been a while since the last review, but I'm going to come back with a review on the Samsung Glide cell phone. Um, as you can see, i got it charging right now. I'm going to pull it out of there. But yeah, that's where the charger goes. Anyways, um, it's a it has got it's got a large 2.8 uh, display screen. Um, it's it has a slide out um, standard keyboard. You can see it just slides right out of there. Um, one of the main features of it is it it's touch screen. So you just touch what you wanna where you wanna go. Um, it's got a full uh, HTML web browser on it, um, and you can like zoom in. Because since it's a touch screen, it's hard to push the, you know, links. But you can, uh, with the volume button on the side here, this is the volume button, this silver thing here, you can, um, you can make the uh, links larger and stuff, so they're easier to click. Um, it's uh, got a 2.0 uh, megapixel camera and camcorder. You can see right there, it says 2.0 right there, and you can see that it's a camera and camcorder. It has a flash. You can see that flash right there. Um, it's a good phone. Uh, I've had it, to be honest, I've had it, uh, had a, my dog get a hold of it. He was just batting it around and it ended up breaking and had to get a new one, but they replaced it for free. But, um, it's, uh, Ver I got Verizon with it. Um, it's like I said, it's Samsung. Um, I showed you the charger. Um, the speaker is up here. It's a kind of a, one of the downfalls of it is this, it's a, little speaker right there it's like that little slit right there um, uh, it holds it has a pretty relatively long battery life if you don't use it too much like since it's a big screen it all lights up if you if you're texting a lot the battery will die quick um, it's got a uh, if you take this back panel off it's got a slot right up here for a card you can see I have a card in there like a little memory card to store stuff on here you can see the battery back here um, the uh, talk hole right here is real small right there. It's got a, a button, one button on it on the front for home. Like so, if you're navigating through something and you just want to go straight back to to the main screen, you can just hit the home button. And it's basically like an escape. Um, it's got a it's got a lock mechanism right here. This little button. I don't know, let me see if I can. This little you see this little button right here. It's like a lock mechanism so that you can see on the screen it says um, drag to drop. If you just click that button, it'll unlock it. Click it again, it'll lock it. Or you can drag that key over to the key lock and it unlocks like that. Um, it's a touch screen, you know, this is pretty responsive. I haven't really had any problems with it. Sometimes it'll get a little crazy, but other than that, uh, it's a pretty good phone. Uh, reception's great, uh, it's clear. And uh, it's a decent phone, and I like it because if you get frustrated, because it does have a keyboard on it. See, you see the numbers are all, you just punch in the numbers, whatever. Um, I like it because when I'm texting and stuff, I, I have the option of using a keyboard. So that's why I like it. But, um, I don't know, it's my preference. Uh, pretty much, it's got everything else is basic, you know, but got some shortcuts right here. You click this little thing, shortcut keys come out and you can set, set them. That's about it.